the Lord bless you, friends and families. This is Prophet Len Ford, another time with the Word of God. And today is going to blow your mind like never before in the name of Jesus Christ. There's something that I want to share to each and everybody. And as it bears fruit in your life, you are going to shout hallelujah to the kings of kings and to the laws of law. There's something that I used to say. God's word is a foundation and it's a fountain to release us to our joy, our peace, and our victory. God's word is a pillar for our life. Without this pillar attached to us, we'll be broken in pieces. So each and every day, when you hear the word of God, the solid truth of the word of God, run with it and do export, exploit with it. Because there's nothing that is above the word of God. Nobody to deceive you to go into any kind of occultism. Nobody to deceive you to go to see any sargoma. Nobody to deceive you to tell you that there's something above the knowledge of God. There's nothing above the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. There's nothing above the knowledge of God. This word is going to liberate you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today I want to talk about something very, very important. And the thing is, are you really thirsty? <laughs> are you really thirsty? Mm. Are you really thirsty? Are you really thirsty? Are you really thirsty? To make it in life are you really thirsty to touch lives are you sure you're really tested of what you think you are looking for <clears throat> and how can you achieve what you are looking for it's two things it's just two things and i'm, I'm going to expose you to these two serious things and if you can check this word and run with it your life is not going to be the same God bless you so much. So, our scripture is Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. It says, Blessed are they, blessed are they, we do hang and test after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Blessed are they, we do hang and test after righteousness. For they shall be filled. The two words is hang and test. Hang and test. The fact that you have certificates and qualifications, and the fact that you speak very eloquently, does not make you to be filled with success. Many people are having their certificates and whatever thing of their qualification lying down, and they think that success will come to them. Success does not come to anybody. You need to be. You need to have a hunger and test for success. Life, the life we are living, you need to be, have the hunger and test for everything. It does not matter whether you are ugly. It does not matter whether you are beautiful. It does not matter whether you are educated. It does not matter who you are. You need to be, have the hunger and test to make your life better. If you have all your degrees and certificates and line inside your bedroom, who will know that? Who will know your quality? If you don't want to get out to work, share what you have. If you don't share what you have, who will know how quality you are? The life we are living, if you want to make it very, very well, 
you need to be hungry and thirsty for whatever thing that is ahead of you. Somebody is saying that I'm waiting for the Holy Spirit to speak to me. Listen to me. The Holy Spirit does not speak. The Holy Spirit is ready to act. For those who are serious. I don't know where this uh, where the, uh, word came. I'm waiting for the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. Before, when God has not even yet spoken, the Holy Spirit was troubling the waters. Do you know what I mean? The Holy Spirit is saying, I need to work. I want to work. I want to work. I want to work. I want to work. You, you are sitting down with your destiny. And you are waiting for the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Why the Holy Spirit want to work very effectively and very fast? Listen to me. Don't deceive yourself. If there's anything that is ahead of you, you need to be hunger and test for it. There is no time to waste at any any opportunity, anything that comes within your atmosphere. Don't waste time. The Holy Spirit wants to act very fast. And you are making very sure because of your flesh, because of how you you have, you've become lazy. God is ready to help those who are hungry and thirsty for for their life to be better. So, blessed are they who do hang and test after righteousness, for they shall be full. So let's move the righteousness from there, okay? And and let's put the things you lack that you think that's not possible for you to get it. But it's possible for you to get it when you test and hang for it. Blessed are those who, who do hang and test for money, for they shall be filled. Blessed are those who do hang and test for business, for they shall be filled. Blessed, look, put the righteousness, the take it out, take the righteousness out of it, okay? And put anything that you think that is impossible. It is impossible because you are not hungry and thirsty for it. Anything that you think is impossible, it is impossible because you are not hungry and thirsty for it. Period. You want every day people to uh, carry like a baby and it will be what it will be what. Listen to me. God is so ready for those who are babies. In the Greek word, we call nephew. God does not work with nephews. God works with people who are hungry and thirsty. Many people see me and say, Prophet, how do you got to a level of power that way. I not get to the level of power when I was I was just lazy. I was hungry and thirsty for power. I was hungry and thirsty that by the cross of 2021, the whole world must hear about me. What about you? Don't jealous people. People are hungry and thirsty for greater things in their life. Don't sit down and say it is magic. There is nothing like magic. Every magic is a trick. And we don't work in life with tricks. We work with life, with discipline, with structure. That is how we work in life. Are you hungry and tested for what you are looking for? Anybody that is hungry and tested for what he or she is looking for, do not give up. hungry and thirsty for what he or she is seeking for. Do not give up. I would know how far you've gone in life by how you are hungry and thirsty concerning your next level. So, please, the reason why you're not successful is because you're not hungry and thirsty for the next level of your life. And I pray that may God give you the grace to be hungry and thirsty. May God locate you. God will locate you when you're hungry and thirsty. God, if you're not hungry and thirsty, how can you be filled? We have a lot of people, I will do this, I will do that, I will do that. You are doing a lot of things, so who are you? You're not serious. You're not hungry and thirsty for anything. 
There's a short message I want to give each and every Christian. Be hungry and thirsty for what whatever you are looking for, and you will make it. Success is into success is coded in a secret. Hunger and thirsty. That is the only way you can break through in life. God bless you so much. This prophet learned for. I know this message has really blessed you. You can call me for counseling. You can call me for any spiritual work. work and I'll be very, very humble to assist you and to help you. Thank you so much. Somebody say, man of God, what is the telephone number? It's plus 233-554144009. Plus 233-554144009. Call me and let's talk. God bless you so much. Happy Vows Day. And this Vows Day, I know one thing when it comes to that atmosphere, the wound of one is the wound of all. If you reject somebody in, a, in his account of weakness, you reject the strength. So in this vow day, be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Have a successful weekend. Bye.